guys welcome to my channel if you're watching on YouTube please subscribe to my channel if you would like to be notified of any future videos that I do on YouTube please press the notification bell button below in the right hand corner and if you're watching from Facebook live hello great to have you with us thank you for tuning in my name is Sharon Hartley I have been following a ketogenic lifestyle for 14 months now I have lost 72 pounds and I do series of lifestyle keto lifestyle videos this video is going to be a somewhat of the keto basics it's always great to keep things simple and basic so let's get started what is keto? Keto is short for the ketogenic diet. The ketogenic diet is simply a very low carb, moderate protein and high fat diet that allows the body to fuel itself without the use of glucose or high levels of carbohydrates. When the body is in short supply of glucose, which comes from carbs, ketones are made in the liver from the breakdown of fats through a process called ketosis. With careful tracking, creative meals and self-control, this diet can lead to weight loss, lower blood sugar, regulated insulin levels, and less hunger, and controlled craving, cravings for sugar and carbs. Before I started keto, I was eating a very high carb diet, pizza, pasta, pastries, and the works. Because of this, my body would take these carbs and turn in, it into glucose to power itself. And now I've covered out all of that and my metabolism uses up that instead. Typically a ketogenic diet restricts carbs between 0 to 50 grams per day. I started with the goal of 20 carbs per day to help stick to healthier foods and reduce my cravings. If you're interested in going full keto, be sure to consult your doctor. I am not a medical professional nor do I offer medical advice. What are macros? Macronutrients are macros are the three ways that our body produces energy. So they are carbohydrates, carbs, protein, fat. If you're following lazy keto, this probably isn't top of the mind for you. But typically on the ketogenic diet, it is important to track how many grams of each macronutrient you'll consume every day. Remember, however, when I said keto is low carb, moderate protein, high fat diet? This means the fewest you should be consuming is carbs around 5%. The highest amount is healthy fats around 70%. And the moderate amount you should be eating is protein around 25%. Probably the most popular way to track is myfitness.com or myfitnesspal app that you can download on your phone. To get the specifics on what your calorie intake and specific personalized macro should be, I will be putting a macro nutrient calculator in the comments below for you all so that you can look at it and see what your macros are. You might not like it, you might like it, it's there. So it's there for you to use. How important is it to hit my macros every day? Think about it this way. Carbs are a limit. Don't go over your allotted daily carbs. Just don't do it. I'm a supporter of tracking macros, but if you don't want to go all in, most resources will say if you stay under 20 net carbs each day, you're, you'll be in ketosis. Protein is a goal. This is the most important macro to hit. If you're losing weight, you want to make sure you're eating enough protein so you're not also losing muscle. Fat is a lever. If you're eating a ketogenic diet, fat is designed to keep you full. If you're hungry, go ahead and eat that healthy fat. If you're not hungry, you don't have to hit your fat macros. It will use your body fat stores instead. This is why I have a hard time with fat bombs. They may be delicious, but I see a lot of people eat them because they think they have to meet their fat. Not true. Net carbs. Most people following keto opt to track net carbs instead of total carbs. Net carbs are total carbs minus dietary fiber and some sugar alcohol. Net is generally allowed because of how your body reacts to the fiber and the sugar alcohols. On a nutritional labels, the grams of dietary fiber and sugar alcohols are already included in the total carb amount. But because fiber and some sugar alcohols are carbs, 
that your body can't digest, they have virtually no effect on your blood sugar and can be sub subtracted in most cases. For an example, if your food item has 10 grams of carbs for one serving, 6 grams of fiber, and 2 grams of ethanol, my favorite natural sweetener, your food item has 2 net carbs per serving. What about cheat days? I never recommend cheat days because I believe that the keto diet is all about changing your relationship with food. A lot of the urge to cheat, cheat often comes from emotional eating or lack of willpower. And I see so many people fall off the wagon and never get back on. You're strong enough. You can do this. You're keto wide. But if you did cheat or are going to, remember this. You'll likely feel awful the next day because of how your body will react to carbs after getting used to not having them. The most important thing is to get back off, get back on the wagon as quickly as possible and don't give up just because you slipped up. What about supplements? I have actually done a supplement video, so if you wish to tune into my supplement video, but I'm just going to quickly go over supplements as well. To put it simply, supplements are not necessary. necessary. Keto is free and you don't have to buy supplements, MCT oil or collagen though. They may help you with your journey. The last thing I want you to do is spend money. You don't have, you don't have on buying these things that are not necessary that you will need. That said, I get requests for some of my favorite keto helpers. And I'm really happy to say that I use MCT oil, powder, collagen, and macronutrients green. Check out my supplement video, my supplements video. The, I will show you what supplements I take. I take um, a range of them. I feel good when I take them. Um, we don't always get what we need. Hi, Christina. Thank you for tuning in. Um, so, so yeah. So I take I take all my supplements. I take collagen, daily multi. Um, I take vitamin D. I take uh, magnesium, potassium. Um, supplements because they're my electrolytes but you can also get them in food and if you're on my keto journey there will be um, a graph that will tell you exactly what food you can and can eat that will have magnesium potassium in them thank you for tuning in today if you have liked my videos please hit like show me some love if you're watching on a replay on Facebook press replay and if there's anything that I can help you with with keto basics or macros um, I will place a calculator in the comments below so that you can get your own macros I hope that you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you soon take care bye bye